All right, Graham, today is June 1st, 2013, and uh, my Writer's Craft class is doing some writing on people who have stories. So um, I was just wondering if uh, you could tell me, the story I was really interested in was um, if you could tell me when you met Grandpa the first time or what you remember about uh, before you were married. When I met, when I met Grandpa was at a house party. I was there with my cousin, Doreen. Your grandpa asked me if he could take me home because they lived just right near Doreen's. And I said, no, I'd have to ask Doreen. I can't go unless I ask her. So, uh, but I said, you can ask her. So, <laughs> so he went in. <clears throat> as shy as he was, he went in and asked her if he could take me home. And that was the first time that I went out. Was Uncle Bill at the party too? Uh, no. This uh, party was right, right near where Grandpa's family lived. Oh, okay. Now, do you remember where he took you the first time you went on a date? Maybe down to Oak Lake. Everybody at that time went down and sat around the lake at night, some at night. So, uh, was there a pavilion, a dance yeah, pavilion there? was a there? dance pavilion there. Oh, yes. I worked in a grocery store in Sterling and... Uh, Every so often, I, they bring a carload of food, <clears throat> and of course, everybody got to know what day that came in. So uh, we wouldn't open it that night. We wait till before the store opened the next morning, and uh, I put it. He'd say, "Now, any that you want to buy that isn't available, why you take it." So. That's how I, that's how we got to have, you know, a lot of things because a lot, to, and some would come in, I had a, an aunt who, not my favorite aunt, <laughs> <laughs> and she'd come in and she'd say, now, if that comes in, Norma, you put it away for me. I said, no, I can't do that. Because <laughs> she didn't shop there regularly. Oh, no, she shopped across at the A&P. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. But she uh, didn't shop there only when she knew something. Right. So she got quite a shock. She didn't think much of me after that for a <laughs> while. And then she got over it. The but, grocery uh, store wasn't self-serve then. They came to the no. counter with their list. Yeah, they? they'd have one item. So you'd walk over, way over, get it. And then you'd get back. Well, we, oh, we wanted a can of peas, too. So... <laughs> Or you over you go on another trip. So maybe that's why I've had pretty good legs still now. <laughs> I did They're still pretty walking. good. Yeah, I did a lot of walking. People had coupons, like you'd have so many coupons for sugar or yeah. peanut butter or Now do you remember um, the story about any of your children being born? Were there any unique births that that happened or ones that had you worried at all? when Grant was born. Yeah, your grandpa almost went off the road to trying to get me there. And I had phoned in at that time and Harriet Watson worked in the phone booth. So I went in and I said, when she said hello, like they did then, I said, would you call the hospital and tell them I'm coming in? <laughs> so she did. And when I got there, I said, we really didn't get in a rush. We thought, you know why she'll be ours. <laughs> anyway, I hardly got up the stairs when Grant was born. I seem to remember something about Grandpa lifting the car up. Is that, did that happen? Did slide off somewhat. Yeah, we did. He lifted pretty near the weight of the car to get back because there was nobody else in sight. So... But then later he tried to move it and found he couldn't? Yeah. So. The next day he said... Yeah. yeah. It's adrenaline, that's... I think, working. Yeah. Well, that's interesting. And uh, living on the farm, do you have any stories from then? Oh, nothing outstanding, I don't think. What about Mum? Was she, uh, was she pretty... Did she stay out of trouble? Well, sometimes. <laughs> do you remember a time she got into trouble? <laughs> I thought we could talk about you not having hydro when you came to the farm. Yeah, we got it though. We got hydro shortly. 
I had an uncle who uh, lived, he uh, was in, uh, what would you call that, what Uncle Ray was in? Council, maybe? Council or something, yeah. And uh, we had hydro with him. I lived there about three or four months. Oh. Some of them around, nobody knew how come we could get hydro so <laughs> quick. That was in what, the 50s or? Forty-five. You were married in forty-three, weren't you? Yeah. And your telephone? It was a party line. Wasn't oh it? yeah, there was ten on at one time. Ten people. And there was one that when he wanted, it, he wanted. It. So he'd come on busy, and he'd say, "Whoever's on there, hang up." <laughs> well, that's something we share in common because uh, when we grew up, we had a party line at our house too. Yeah, so. But uh, our our people were silent as mice on there, and <laughs> yeah, yeah, they, they, <laughs> they were listeners rather than <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah well, we had those too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You weren't one of them, were you? No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, that's good. The winters were quite hard, weren't they? The roads weren't always plowed. No, we didn't you. often have our road. How I did remember you your grandpa. Uh, the neighbor, she was expecting a baby, and uh, uh, she phoned over and she said, would you help, would you see if, if Jack would help, because I've got to get to the hospital. So uh, we went down, I, I didn't go, but uh, your grandpa went down the road, and as he went, there were some people that were, uh, that were uh, Clearing. We had to clear the roads. A line of men with shovels, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, they went down oh, ahead of the car. Mm -hmm. oh. Get him out to the highway. Oh, wow. That's kind of neat. Yeah, it wasn't as easy as it is now. That's yeah. For sure. <laughs> you traveled by sleigh sometimes when you were growing mm -hmm. up in the winter? Our young people's society had a, an evening once a month. So. We, uh, I forget who brought the horses team, and we would all get on the sleigh and pick up everybody as we went along, and uh, and have our meeting at somebody's place. So that was always quite fun. So you must have been quite young during the Depression too. Did you? Yeah. What year was it? Around twenty-nine. Do you remember anything from then, like hard times, or? Well, there was. Yeah, you were there. only seven. I was quite small. Yeah. yeah. So you were just a little, old, a little younger than Ethan mm -hmm. is right now. But we didn't have uh, a lot of things we never had and never would, I guess. Yeah. Like your fridge, maybe? Mm hmm. Did we like a refrigerator? Yeah, I didn't have that for a long time. How did you keep stuff cool? Down on the basement floor. Yeah. Did you have a nice house? Yeah, we did. Not after we were married. They did over at my dad's. They had a nice house. And they would go back and, and get the chunks of ice and put them in this ice house. Oh, wow. And, uh, and then uh, it was there. Then they'd go and get it. And, huh. and cool. We, they maybe have a honey pail of milk and they put it on the basement floor. <laughs> Can you imagine now? Anybody doing that? <laughs> Not at all. And the night before your wedding, they were making the ice cream by yeah, hand, and there was no five, freezer. Five neighbors came, five men, and they each had a freezer, and a hand freezer, you know, that you turn, and uh, they made the ice cream for our wedding. Mmm, very nice. Now, do you ever remember like when TVs first started coming out or like um, the yeah, first I movies? I did. I do remember, I mean, because uh, <laughs> we come home from school and we were just dying to get to that TV. Well, if this insurance guy hadn't happened long <laughs> and he uh, wanted to sell us, what was it, a car or something? Or? Yes, car insurance. Car insurance. <laughs> Yeah. We, we'd never had a TV before, and there we sat, Grant and I, being polite. <laughs> because we couldn't turn this television And you were on. you just got it out of the box? Yeah, pretty well. Oh, they okay. They were in boxes in those no, days. They you just went brought in. them in. Just, yeah. Yeah, but we, uh, 
No, we couldn't turn it on because Harry was there. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you get rid of him? Bought insurance. Bought insurance. Bought insurance. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. We'll take the lot. <laughs> maybe. I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> and cars didn't have radios then. And the one first car you got that had an aerial, we thought we had a car with a radio. We jumped in. The radio had been taken out. They just left the area. Oh, no. <laughs> Do you remember any programs that you used to watch? Or that Mum and Grant and Brenda watched as kids? Do you remember any programs you watched, Brenda? What did you like to watch? I like Father Faster. Yeah, that was one. Lone Ranger. Lassie. Lassie. Yeah, Mickey Lassie. Mouse Club, that was yeah, a big that one. that was a big one. For you especially. For me. <laughs> mm -hmm. It was before, yeah, way before my time. And when you went to the drive-in, what did we usually see? My, oh, I don't my remember. Mon Kettle? Oh, maybe. Yeah, we'd go to the drive-in. Thanks, folks, mm -hmm. for adding the Werther's. That was when uh, you were, you'd sit in the front. Mm -hmm. Brenda wasn't born then. And uh, we put Randy in the back. Grant. Or Grant in yeah. the back, laid down. And you'd sleep all through it. <laughs> and you sat in front with us so that you could sleep. And... Now, what did you like most about Grandpa? I just remember him as a really gentle person. Yeah, he was. He had a lot to put up with. <laughs> Are you referring to Mom? To me. Oh, to you. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going again, Ben. Sorry. What else do you remember about him? Oh, he was a very kind. Person. But thank you for thinking of me. So, and what do you like about Drayton now that you're here? Different, isn't it? Around, get, have to get used to it. Yeah. Well, I certainly know what Mum likes the best about it. <laughs> Having you nearby. Yeah. Well, I and Brenda like that too. too. And Brenda too. It's yeah. It's nice to be near them. That's for sure. Lori. Yeah, Lori's here too. And... Julia hangs out quite a. What do you and Julia do? Uh, watch Wheel of Fortune usually. Nice. And uh, I hear she's getting good at Jeopardy. Yeah, she is. She got two or three the other night. Very nice. Well, that's good. I don't know how she how she knows those. Well, you say it's often American based. Mm -hmm. hmm. Yep, it is. Well, thanks a lot for your time, Graham. Well, I did a lot. I don't remember. I guess. Oh, that's all right. You remember the good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> that's, the best, like, that's the best thing to remember. I just know I had a real good family.